What is going on everybody? Hope you guys had a happy new year, but today is the day of the semifinals round three of the 2015 Corporate Slave Awards. And here today we have Jack Move Johnny. What up, what Bob and Ed, bro? The Omega Loser. It's your boy Omega back in this bitch. Grab your bitch cause she looking at my dick. What it do? <laughs> and we got Fringy. What's up guys? So, um, how's everybody's new year? It's cool, it's cool, you know, chill with the family, you know. Not being a social reject, you know how they go. <laughs> Not yeah, making was, videos on other people. Yeah, exactly. No, I, I, <laughs> I, was, I was chilling, man. There was a lot going on New Year's, man. We still had those bitch niggas post the videos. I had fun, man. I ate some pizza, watched some scary movies, had a bitch suck my dick. It was all good, man. <laughs> <laughs> No, really though, even playing video games would have been better than making videos on New Year's. Exactly. Exactly, oh, man. man. Well, you know what they say, corporate slaves do not take holidays. No, I mean, it's a slave camp. They don't take holidays either. Nope. 24-7. But let's go on to these matchups, and the first matchup we had Iron Wolf with 409 votes versus Drone Crusher with 23. What would you think about this one, Jack? I mean, you know, Iron Wolf was a number one uh, seed for a reason, man. Me personally, you know, I, w I wanted to see Drone Crusher take it all the way because, you know, he's a, he's a fuck nigga in my eyes. But, uh, you know, it's what the people wanted, man, so I can't really disagree with it. Omega? This had to fucking happen. I mean, honestly, Iron Wolf is a dumb nigga who don't know shit. And it's obvious <laughs> that he was going to win this shit. Now, I got a couple words for this bitch nigga, Iron Wolf, you know what I'm saying? Because I got nigga screenshotting me shit he's saying about the Omega. You know what I'm saying? If you a bitch-ass nigga talking on comments about another man, you a bitch. Because you can say it on video. And I'm going to tell you like this, nigga. I take shots, and when I take shots, I take shots, nigga. I'll end your ass real quick, so I suggest you shut up and stop being a bitch, man. It's your boy, man. <laughs> Fringy. <laughs> Well, I mean, Drone Crusher is a complete goober. I mean, he's ridiculous, and he, he has a high opinion of himself, but there's no contest here. We knew that Iron Wolf was going to take this, because all the time, it's just Xbox propaganda. He's a complete coward. He refuses to talk to anybody, and then he's always quick to trash talk. Oh, I'm so right, and then he never talks to anybody about it. It's easy choice. No contest. Agreed. I mean, this is the man that was apparently tweeting console war stuff while driving to apparently tweeting console war stuff while at his brother's engagement party to yeah. apparently he wasn't driving or at the engagement party he was in the parking lot um <laughs> oh, yeah. bottom line is if i'm anywhere near my brother's engagement party youtube twitter and none of that's even on my mind that that's just me but you know yeah. corporate slaves don't take holidays corporate slaves do not take a break even on their brother's engagement day because apparently, yet, <laughs> corporate slaving is more important. And yeah, he calls everybody else a social reject. Oh, you're all losers. You're all weirdos. Exactly. I want to invite you to fly to the United Kingdom to talk to me about video games. That's normal. <laughs> We're wanting to fight, me. But oh, yeah. <laughs> We're moving on. We'll get to the next matchup. The four seed versus the five seed. Blackie Lebowski, hashtag don't shoot, versus the Best Buy stalker, Tim Dog. And then, you know, sizable fashion... Blackie beat out Tim Dog 312 to 121. What you think about this one, Jack? Uh, I saw it coming. You know, Tim Dog ain't really, you know, got as much of a reach as Blackie do in the community. And, uh, you know, he, he, he stalked a couple of people, but he did it from afar. However, you know, you got Blackie who does this, you know, on a daily basis. He, you know, he's been a corporate slave from fucking Nintendo to goddamn Xbox. So, you know, it, it's the right choice. I agree with it. Omega? Listen, man, here we got a nigga giving out the uh, death threats like candy, okay? <laughs> this nigga will say he will shoot you in a heartbeat if you do not agree with his preference, you know, his pl uh, piece of plastic. And here we got a fucking stalker, you know, but like I said, ain't nothing worse than a stalker than a shooter. And like, if you, sh if you go shoot a nigga, I mean, you just, you have to win. So I have to give it to this bitch, Blackie, man. Like, he had it, man. Fringy? You know it's bad when a guy who draws pictures of Xbox executives and sits outside of stores, like, watching people gets beat <laughs> out by, like, by this dude. I mean, Michael Lebowski, it, it's not just the fact that he says these ridiculous things. It's 
is the fact that he takes it all so seriously and is saying things like, oh, it's normal to want to kill someone who messes with you. Like, no, it's not, man. Comparing ISIS to PlayStation gamers, like, after the debris hasn't even cleared yet, it's this sort of stuff that made him the clear choice here. Well, hell, you know my choice. I was taking Blackie Lebowski all the way here. I mean, all PlayStation 4 owners and supporters are ISIS members, even though he owns a PlayStation 4 himself. Yes. I mean, come on. He was talking about how we're going to love him because if we ever get invaded, he's going to be one that's going to up everybody. The guy has clearly got his wires crossed. The guy clearly has some sort of post-traumatic stress disorder or mental disability or mental disorders. There's something up there that is not functioning correctly. And as far as the Best Buy stalker, drawing pictures, getting his kids to draw pictures, stalking people... What does he have, six figures of tweets to uh, Microsoft employees and Microsoft executives uh -huh. talking about how he's now a fan of Seattle's soccer team because they wear green and they're sponsored by the Xbox One? Are you serious? I am dead ass serious. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't like soccer, but you know, I'll root for you guys because you guys support Xbox and are pro Xbox. Come on. <laughs> oh my god. Can't even make this stuff up. But the bottom line is, is when you threaten another person's life, when you pull out guns on camera, and you want to kill, take lives, and inflict harm, and draw blood over video games, <laughs> I gotta go with hashtag don't shoot. Now on the Eastern Conference, we got the number two seed crap gamer, hashtag stealing videos with a dominant, destructive, just a complete annihilation of the number ten seed blazing phoenix. 426 to 19. What'd you think about this one, Jack? The people got it right, man, because, like, you know, without Crap Gamer and Blackie, Iron Wolf guys like this, you know, other people on this list, there would be no Blades of Phoenix because the guy doesn't have an original thought in his head. He just piggybacks off what these other dumb niggas are saying. So, I agree with the ruling. Omega? I feel this one was beautiful, man. Like, like, like Jack said, this had to happen. Without Crap... We wouldn't have people like the crackhead down here, even here. I mean, you gotta just look at Crap Gamer and just look at his content and just see the bullshit. He is dominating the bullshit right behind Zaire. I love this dude, man. Keep up the good work, Crap. Fringy? I, I don't, I'm not too familiar with Blazing Phoenix. All I know is, yeah, he, he's an Xbox dude. But it's Crap Gamer. I mean, maybe what's worse than the fact that he everything he says is just wrong is that he is basically everything that around him is just so stupid the fact that you have people defending him stealing other people's videos lying about games that he's played hiding his stats doing fake reviews of playstation games going oh they suck but i've never played him and uh, the fact that this guy like every day without fail is talking about ps4 and xbox one i i've never seen a person who's so obsessed with xbox Easy choice here. Didn't he say that all of his channel isn't revolved around the console war, and yet, like, 90% yeah, of channel. his videos is PlayStation versus Xbox? No, like, man. all of his thumbnails, all you can see is green and blue against each other. <laughs> like, that's all he talks about. He doesn't even talk about games. He just talks about Xbox and PlayStation. And he talks, like, ignorant nonsense about PC as well. Oh, well, oh, <laughs> you know my choice right here. Hashtag stealing videos. I mean... Like I said, this man made a video on Christmas Eve. This man made a video on Christmas Day. This man made a video on New Year's Eve. This man made a video on New Year's Day. Corporate slaves don't know when to take a holiday. There are no days off. This is a 24-7 job. Or what did that one guy say? 2967? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I don't get, like... These guys don't take a break. It doesn't matter if it's a holiday or not. All they think about is the console war. Period. Like, yeah. And then they it always say that, oh, well, you always talk about Gabe Newell this and so. When do I ever talk about Gabe Newell this and see him that 24-7? I'd like to know. I'd like to see these videos where I'm talking about Gabe Newell and PC gaming 24-7 or let alone talking about it on a holiday. I mean, it's just, it's just absurd. 
all you need to do is look at their like Twitter feed or anything, and it, it's nothing but talking about the console war. So it's like even if you're not uploading on Christmas or New Year's, we know that you you're thinking about it all the time because <laughs> you're always tweeting about it. <laughs> why? It is like well, I don't really celebrate New Year's. I kind of like to stay in. I don't like to go out. I don't really like to do any of this. I do well, obviously because apparently going out and having fun is less important than making videos about the console war. Plain as day. Now here is the matchup we've all been waiting for, and I called this upset. Jack Omega, I called it. The number three seed, the GameStop stalker, the Mooch, with 296 votes, upsets Liar Liar House on Fire with 153. Jack, what did you think of this one? Uh, you definitely called it, Bond. You know, it's kind of ironic that it's the Mooch versus Next Gen because uh, some hefty allegations have been uh, flown towards the Mooch this week. And, uh, I mean, we can, I guess we can touch on it later. But uh, if it's true what they're saying about him, he definitely deserved to win against Next Gen uh, <laughs> 720. But, uh, yeah, I agree with it, man. Omega? I felt like, you know, the king has fallen to you know the moats he's he's fallen like like you, you caught it it happened and it's here and now it's going to be even harder to pick i'm just gonna i'm, I'm a, like i can't even like my eyes are, are i'm crying man he's sad <laughs> like <laughs> damn man oh man frankie what'd you think about this one you know, I feel like from the start when I was looking at this, um, I really thought that Mooch would make it to the semifinals even over, like, Zaire, which is crazy when Zaire was last year's winner, I think. Yep. Um, how the mighty have fallen. Uh, well, mighty, I use that term very loosely. But, I mean, really, for me it was obvious because Zaire hasn't really been saying that much that I was like, oh, wow, that's just insane this year. Whereas Mooch has been... He, his delusions about the media bias has to be my favorite thing. Like, oh, the media, it's so against Xbox. It's like, dude needs to be wrapped up and sent to the asylum. Seriously. <laughs> he does need to go with straight jackets our dress code. And that whole media bias thing really kills me because nobody was complaining about it when the media was slaughtering the PlayStation 3 last exactly. generation. Nobody was complaining about it when the media was eating up the Wii last generation. But, you know... The Wii U failed, but nobody's complaining about it failing because of media bias. It's just failing because it failed. But, man, I mean, maybe people are starting to feel sorry for Next Gen because, you know, he, he is currently getting catfished and he doesn't want to listen to anybody that's telling him that, you know, who he's talking to or who he's flirting with could be highly questionable, like Dan Levitar would say, but, hey, it is There's what it is. There's a lot of evidence. There's a lot of evidence out there. Yeah. I mean, people can just do their research and look it up. I mean, we have the community coming together, even looking up things and breaking us things, but, hey, we're the bad guys for being smart and wanting to help people. Agreed. I mean, you know, God forbid you try to bring light to liars or bring truth out to people because yep. when the media or developers lie, they should get crucified. But when people that make YouTube videos are in the comment section lie, it's okay and all right. But yeah, as far yeah, as the... Go, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Going back to the, the crap gamer thing, that, that was something that really annoyed me. If it came out that someone like Roger Ebert didn't watch the movies that he reviewed, his career would have been over. Uh, um, whereas here... It's like, okay, this guy's been exposed for lying about video games, and he still somehow has a channel that people watch. <laughs> only in gaming does that happen. Agreed. I mean, the only thing more stupid than a person lying is the people that continue to watch and support a liar. But as far as the mooch goes, like I said in the beginning, this is my pick for Rookie of the Year. And I said he was going to the Final Four. He's probably going to end his run at the Final Four, but the mooch takes it. But now on to the semifinals, and I guess nobody can really complain about being upsets because it is one versus four and two versus three, with the first matchup being Iron Wolf versus Blackie Lebowski, hashtag don't shoot. What do you think about this one, Jack? Oh, man, this is like an all-time great battle of fuckery right here, you know what I mean? Because, <laughs> like, you got Iron Wolf, you know, a guy, I believe he's a Muslim, correct? Yep. This guy's, this guy's a Muslim, but then he accuses other people of being like terrorists like if you're a muslim person you should try to avoid the terrorist word and and you know you should you know be offended by some shit like that but he's 
promoting, you know, hatred on YouTube, and it goes further than game and this shit he doing. Speaking of going further than game, and we got the Jason Voorhees of YouTube, Blackie Lebowski, you know, him and Jason Voorhees have a lot, of, you know, similar. They they live in a fucking shanty shack in the woods and they prey on young teens that don't agree with them. You know what I mean? So with all that being said, I would have to go, even though Iron Wolf is a fuck boy, a liar, he uh, welches on bets, he just talks out of his ass for no reason, I would have to go hashtag don't shoot. Omega? This one is very fucking hard. Here we got two ball-headed former <laughs> slaves <laughs> for the win. This shit make no sense because it's, I can't pick. It's so hard. Like, I'm looking like, wow. Both of these dumb motherfuckers deserve this shit. So, like, I, I mean, I'm going to have to pick my, my person later, man. I'm going to have to come back. Fringy. Oh, this is got this is got to be the closest one. This one is really hard because on one corner you got Iron Wolf, a guy who does nothing but lie, talk crap, they throw out these really slanderous accusations as well with no evidence, accuse people of doing things. He's a complete hypocrite. It's just nothing he says I can agree with at, at all. But on the other side, you've got Black Lebowski who it is downright like there's something wrong with him. Uh, and I'm not even kidding, like, there, there really is. The way that he talks, he, he gets so angry about all of this stuff, the threats, and then backpedaling. I mean, oh, man. But you know what? If this is a corporate slave awards, I think I gotta go Iron Wolf, just for the fact that it, that's all he does. I'm gonna have to agree with you. I mean, my pick would be Black Lebowski, but I know the winner is going to be Iron Wolf, because... Blackie Lebowski, I just think, is insane. And it's funny, he keeps telling me that I hang out with 15-year-old girls because I was in a picture with a girl at a beer fest. Now, Jack, Omega, and Fringy, what is the legal age to drink? Oh, uh, well, 21. 21. Here it's 18. Now, 21 years old is the legal drinking age, so explain to me how I could be in a picture with a 15-year-old at a beer fest when it's 21 to enter. Oh, man. See, he's not using his brain. See, he these he doesn't other... Th think th exactly. These are the things that I just shake my head when I look at this poor lost soul, and I'm just like, damn, where are this guy's parents? And, like, if his parents are even around, they just must be so disappointed. That's probably why they sent him down south into that shack in the woods. They probably just wanted to get away from him, not ever speak to him again. Put him out in the woods, away from everybody, away from civilization, so he can't hack anybody up, kill him, shoot him, or whatever. But then we have Iron Wolf, where, who, you know, th this guy is, like, allergic to reality. He can't <laughs> comprehend facts and the truth. I made a comprehensive list, labeled it, color-coded it, bolded it. It was like something straight out of Sesame Street. And yet, he still can't comprehend it. And the funny thing is, he always acts like he's right. Facts, I'm right. Facts, I'm right. You're wrong. Oh, Black Bond said 1 plus 1 equals 2 actually equals 3. Facts, I'm right. I'm just like, really, both of them got to be messed up in the head. But I'm going to go hey, you know I'm going with Iron Wolf on this one. Okay, I got my vote. Now, I just thought about something, man. This, this nigga Iron Wolf is the same nigga who said I was stalking a nigga on social media I only posted one fucking video, but it's a fact to him that I stalked somebody on social media. So I got to give it to yeah. facts, man. I'm glad you brought that up because he's done the same thing to me. One video, and then he was like, oh, no, I'm stalking you now. And it's funny because he thinks I am now, even though I'm blocked on Twitter, so I can't even see your tweets. I don't watch any of your videos. <laughs> And he's still convinced, and the listing as well, because I remember I had an argument with him at the beginning of the year where I, I had lists of, like, PS4 games and Xbox One games. He just refused to listen. He he completely refused. I, I asked him, like, oh, is this number bigger than this number? And he just wouldn't do it. It was, it was the funniest <laughs> thing I'd ever seen. Like, is six bigger than four, I think I said. And he's like, oh, no, not talking to you. No, no, no. <laughs> and the funny thing is, he actually said that he'd fly over here and fight me if I wanted to fight. And the best thing is, the whole Street Fighter thing, he says that he won't play for channels because he doesn't bet it's against his religion. 
But then he tried to say that he'll show off his game collection that's bigger than mine if I agree to close down my channel if it's bigger. Meanwhile, all he was really trying to do was scare me off to think that, oh my god, he might have something bigger than me. I'm not going to say, no. I'm not going to accept it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to back down. No, clown. Show your collection, because <laughs> if you could really get me off of YouTube, you'd be the hero to all these social rejects and corporate slaves. They would probably fly over to London and lick your balls for getting me off of YouTube. <laughs> Oh my he, del God. he deleted all of his drama videos as well. I uh, didn't know this, but then I got told by someone. He deleted it all. He wants to hide the fact that he's lost over and over and wow. over. He yep. wants to hide. Yeah, he, he deleted his videos about the cloud, which I initially responded to. Which, why would you do that if you were right? Um, I'm pretty... Yeah, it's, it's funny. And speaking of which, how he said that the cloud is more powerful than a $30,000 supercomputer. Did you see Linus Tech Tips $30,000 computer today? With seven, yeah, it, did. it had seven GPUs in that beast, and it was running Crisis maxed out at like what was that? 4K maxed out on 12 monitors, playing on one while having like 10 instances of the Haven benchmark running in the background. That is truly biblical, and yeah, you will not be seeing that on an Xbox with the power of the cloud. So I don't know what the hell he's talking about. Let's move on to the Eastern Conference, the Eastern Conference semifinals. The number two seed, Crap Gamer, hashtag stealing videos, versus the number three seed, The Mooch, hashtag the GameStop Stalker. What you think, Jack? Well, <clears throat> first of all, if you got the number two seed, Crap Gamer, this uh, fat Sly Cooper looking motherfucker. <laughs> I call him that because he's a thief. Oh, you know? my God. He steals gameplay footage, which I really don't have a problem with if you don't have the means of recording it. But all these next-gen consoles got that feature, man, so there's no need to steal. Then, you know, you're not doing your own reviews, you know, <clears throat> crazy shit. Not to mention that this dude did a video on every major, like, holiday just just, just pads and pad week, man. Now, I ain't got no problem with that. But, you know, I can see you doing a video. All right, if you purchase an Xbox One, this is my console of choice. Here are some games I recommend, you know, improving the community. But instead, your monkey ass want to spread hate, lies, and bullshit. So, you know, that can't be accepted. However, the mooch. Uh, Titanfall Princess, I'm sure all y'all know what's going on with Titanfall Princess. A lot of people saying that's a man, shit like that. They reverse engineered the voice. Some audio engineers did this. And everybody that listened to it said, hey, that sounds exactly like the fucking mooch. Now, I don't know if this is true or not. I'm not here to speculate on it, but if that is true, you went out of your way to pretend you're a woman to fuel the console war. You need to be fucking ashamed of yourself. And uh, I'm like, I'm at a loss of words, bro. I really don't know who who deserves. Like both of these niggas need a uh, you know a co-op trophy. But uh, <laughs> if I had to pick, I had to go. Oh man, I'm gonna have to go hashtag fuck. Uh. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm going to go uh, hashtag stealing videos, man. Omega? I, I'm going I'm to start this off with the moose because if you went out of your fucking way to flirt with another man on a podcast because you see that the Weapon Will podcast have women, real women, you, you have some problems because... That is, I can't even fucking put or wrap my mind around a nigga flirting with another nigga. You got Zaire calling you thicker than a snicker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but we're not going to get into that. We're going to go up to the crap gamer. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Like, like, crap, man. Stop the bullshit on your channel and you won't be in this award. If you just make sincere ass good fucking videos. You'll be good. You don't have to be in this drama bullshit, man. Fucking man up. Stop the bullshit. Stop the hate. Fucking make some real shit, man. But I'm gonna have to go hashtag still the videos because he deserves it, man. He does. Fringy. Well, I, ignoring all that stuff with Titanfall Princess and all that nonsense, like, it, it, I'll start with merch, I guess, because. I've never, I don't think I've ever encountered a person, at least of this age, who should be more mature, like, acting like such a goober. I'm ne all, all it is, media bias, all this stuff about sales, constantly lying. I think the guy, um, he blocked people for liking my video as well, and I didn't even talk to him, so we know he's a coward as well. But at the same time, you wouldn't have any of this stuff without Crap Gamer. He, 
every day making these videos every day just lying the stealing of videos reviewing games he hasn't played deleting all of that stuff all the things coming out about the way that he was behaving i think like in 2006 or something and in this other group as well but i don't even need to get into that it for me it's actually kind of obvious i think it's hashtag stealing videos all the way yeah, I'm going to have to agree that it's going to be a completely one-side event, hashtag stealing videos, unless any one of these guys, Mooch in particular, decides to go to GameStop, <laughs> or we have a video come out where he was at a GameStop on New Year's <laughs> Eve, <laughs> <laughs> stalking people or things like that. But, you know, the Mooch is the rookie of the year. He made it further than a lot of people probably would originally thought. If you were to say at the beginning of the year, this xenophobic, nationalistic clown who apparently hates foreigners, Jap Japanese products, and by American, yet he drives a Japanese car, and he has a Sony television. We all gotta be hypocrites like him, don't we? I mean, come on. Buy American, support American, yet you own a Sony TV and drive a Japanese car. But, you know, stealing videos, again, making videos on Christmas Eve, making videos on Christmas Day, making videos on New Year's Eve, making videos on New Year's Day. This man goes beyond a corporate slave. I mean, at least Mooch is married and has a family. This man goes beyond a corporate slave. This man would win the Social Reject Awards if that was a separate award or an honorable mention category. So I'm going hashtag stealing videos. So anybody else got anything else to say about this whole thing? Uh... All these dudes need to be ashamed of themselves, man. Y'all got to cut this shit out, man. Try not to be on this list next year, all right? I mean, take a break. I mean, you, you can relax. I mean, you act like if you don't make a video sucking off Phil Spencer or corporate slaving, you'll die. If you can I have a couple things to say. It's uh, Miss Omega Loser, and I would like to say I, I love your podcast. <laughs> Big thing. <laughs> What, you got an audio tuner? No, this is my real voice. <laughs> oh my How God. you doing, Miss Omega? You sound beautiful. Thank you. Oh, my God. Are you thicker than a snicker? I am thicker than a snicker. Uh, oh, my okay. God. <laughs> I, like I that. think these guys, they just they need some New Year's resolutions. Uh, probably getting mm -hmm. some interest outside of gaming. That'd be mm -hmm. a good idea. Oh my or maybe playing games. That'd probably be a best place yeah, to start. Yeah, that's, because... That's uh, yeah. The, the one guy with the burned down house, he isn't even like 2% of the trophies in the Rise mm -hmm. of the Tomb Raider. He needs but that's to his game it. of the year, though. <laughs> game of the year? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You, you'd be surprised that they, these guys have anything to even talk about, considering there's like not an exclusive releasing on the mm -hmm. Xbox One until April. Oh my Yeah, they've got tons of material somehow. Don't worry. Well, making stuff up tends to help. Don't worry, everything yeah. released between now and April will be garbage anyway. <laughs> <laughs> all right we're gonna wrap this one up we'll be back with the finals in a couple days and remember vote once for every matchup by hashtag you can only vote once per matchup and only votes using the proper hashtag count votes are then There's counted votes. in the comment section below two votes man two semi-finals who said three not bang bang <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> we'll catch you guys later take it easy